Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers, and in today's video, guys, we're going to show you how to score 100 points in simulation in Madden 22. You will be able to basically win every single game after this video. You'll be able to break records, outscore your opponents by almost 100 points in a single game, and just simply dominate. And with that being said, guys, if you guys like our content, make sure to leave us a like down below. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes on this video, and leave us a comment down below as well because it really really helps us out and just you know say scoops if you don't know what to say during the video you guys are going to be seeing the highlights of a game from our falcons rebuild which you if you have not seen that you got to check that out uh, and you'll be able to see just how much we've dominated uh, in this game so all the things that we're going to be listing to you in this video is going to be exactly what we did in that falcons rebuild to absolutely dominate and destroy our opponents in madden 22. so for you guys to understand how to simulate and how to be successful in simulation we got to break down the two different types of simulation in madden and not only just madden 22 this goes to many many other maddens so there's standard simulation Okay, standard simulation is where you just sim game to game. You do not watch any of the games. This is the hardest type of simulation in every single Madden, including Madden 22, for you to be successful. Your team could be a 95 overall, still lose against an 80 overall team by 30 points, even though in reality that would be a stretch if we were talking about real life team. So standard simulation can definitely be frustrating and irritate many people in the Madden community because they cannot understand why they are losing. Uh, however, there are also bonuses to this type of simulation. If the simulation was too easy, then people would use our Madden 22 trading tips like our SAR trade glitch method, which it'll pop up in the top right corner of your screen. Our trading for contracts method pop right up in the corner of your screen. How to abuse the team needs, you know, you name it. There's just so much trading methods that we provide and contract methods that if there wasn't some type of cap on the simulation then you would just have a mud style team and just basically destroy everybody and the next type of simulation is what you're going to be seeing in the video here where we're actually watching the game play out now this is the easiest type of simulation to win in when your team is a decent team or you have the right players the right playbooks and schemes speaking of which uh, our playbooks and schemes that we recommend for simulation and almost, you know, user play as well will pop up in the top right corner of your screen. You will need those playbooks and schemes in order to dominate the way we are dominating in this video. And it is funny because a lot of people, uh, you know, not a lot of people, but there are people who come in and, and tell us what playbooks and schemes are the best. And you be the judge. You know, you see what's happening on your screen and what we're doing. And um, yeah, you can be the judge yourself. However, slow simulation is going to be the best simulation and we'll touch base on this a little bit more in the future of the video all right let's move on here to the best settings for slow simulation uh in madden 22 and this also will work for madden 21 if you guys are on madden 21 and if you're on madden 20 i don't know if this will work for you however uh just give it a try i mean it's not too far off i mean madden really doesn't change much at all anyways one Difficulty does not matter. However, for us, we keep it on all Madden. It's something we've always done. It's something we will always do. Number two, 15 minute quarters are the best, the most prime for you to succeed. If you want to make it quicker, what you do is you simulate kickoffs, PATs, and punt returns, okay? And punting. I would always simulate those. It'll make the game go by a little bit faster, and that's what I do. Uh, in the future, you can actually drop that down and start getting to where once your team you know is really, really good, you can start doing about eight-minute quarters. Uh, when you start getting less than eight-minute quarters, you start playing with disaster, the possibility of disaster. You could do six minute quarters, but it, that it's tight um, because there's home field advantage. Your team could do bad for half of the first quarter if you were in 15 minutes and then after that you could just dominate and just simply crush them so you got to give yourself a little bit of a buffer uh, so eight minute quarters is what we'd recommend if you have to do six minute quarters in simulation you can still succeed just know you may come across a, a couple of rough patches 
throughout playing hard teams. Number three, accelerated clock. Uh, you could have it on, but there's really no point to it. If you want the game to be quicker, then just shorten the quarter length. I mean, um, you know, you really don't want the CPU pressed for time in the second quarter when there's not a lot of time left uh, and the accelerated clock runs down and the CPU just can't really understand what to do. Now, accelerated clock is more for user play than simulation. If you're putting on simulation, you are risking the biscuit for no reason at all. And it is something that I would highly recommend that you do not do. It'd be like putting diesel into a standard gas uh, you know, engine. I, I just wouldn't do it. And number four, injury. Uh, turn it off during the preseason, okay? Injuries in Madden in general are just ridiculous, uh, and they just get really high. And this year, there's a lot of injuries in real life. Uh, however, you could chalk that up to a million different things. No one really is understanding why, uh, but it's not something I would try to repeat in Madden. And number five, your injury rating, uh, we'd put it at 15. Any higher than that, you're just going to get extremely annoyed uh, with all the injuries that you take on and uh, it's just going to be frustrating. Now, at number six, XP sliders. Now, we're going to cover this in a separate video uh, because it's going to be different depending on how you simulate. Okay, because if you simulate in slow sim, it's basically like user playing to the max. Okay, uh, because there's user players that are that are good. There's guys that user play that are good, but they couldn't do what their team can do in uh slow sim okay but if you're in fast sim it's harder to get xp so it really changes uh the dynamics of the xp sliders uh so we'll cover that in a future video um so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe and number seven gameplay sliders we will keep them on standard and only change the speed threshold to zero the rest of the gameplay sliders we're not going to touch them. Uh, there's just no real point. Now, number eight, stamina rating. It is up to you, but you can raise it slightly if you want. Madden seems to be docking player stamina, especially when you get to the playoffs. And these players just have no stamina left, especially if you have the setting on to where it just continues to build up week after week. Uh, you'll see guys that are just in the, the first quarter, like their entire team is just breathing heavy. And you're like, okay, like these boys are tired as hell. And them going against your team, it's, they're, it's almost guaranteed that they're going to lose. Uh, if you guys set it up the way we're setting it up. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You can you can do that, but you know it's it's just something to think about. Okay, so now after we've gone over the settings here, let's go over how do you win every single simulated game in Madden 22. Okay, now this is going to be a dance that you're going to have to do. We can only give you the as much options and as tips as possible, but there's a lot of people that expect us to just say like, hey, press the green button, and then people press the green button and they just start winning all the time. You, we, we can only give you the tools and then after that you really have to apply these tools based upon the situation that you have at hand. Okay, I cannot jump into your league, grab the controller and start doing it for you or else yes, then you would always win. It's as simple as that. However, you're going to have to apply this stuff that we're telling you and if you are one of those people who say this is not working for me, it is because you are not doing what is needed to be done for your team because if you haven't seen our Lions rebuild, we won against a team 70 to whatever the hell it was. And then on our, our team here, we've won 100 to horribleness. Okay, so this is a consistent thing that we have been doing and it should be consistent for you as well. So at number one, determine what type of simulation is best for your team in its current situation. If your team is young and needs time to grow, you'll want to fast sim, get them as much XP as possible, then upgrade them. Maybe, uh, you know, boost up the, the XP sliders just until you start going into the slow sim. Okay, if you do not know where your team is, you can simply run a test in the beginning of the season by slow simming the first game and see how your team does if your team does not dominate with our playbooks and schemes with all the stuff that we've already recommended then your team needs a little time to adjust it is as simple as that if you have a team like the chiefs the box or any other high powered team that you could start slow simming right away in the beginning of the year you can even use a sleeper quarterback now this is something that we'd recommend and this is a side tip is we have our madden 22 sleeper qbs list uh, we have it on our website and we have the a video on it that'll pop up in the top right corner of your screen uh if you have a really good team there's no point to start you know and, and spend all the money on a quarterback 
that is going to just cost millions and millions of dollars when you could go get like Cole McDonald. You can go get some of these other guys that are on our list and they just absolutely dominate it, uh, dominate. So, um, you know, there's a lot of testing that you can do in the beginning of the season to kind of figure out where your team is. Uh, and that's definitely something we recommend. And then number two, if your team is already good, then you can skip the fast simulation aspect and go straight into the slow sim. The higher the quarter length, the more you will dominate. Simple as that. The more XP you will get over time, your team will just simply absolutely crush it. Uh, eight minute quarters is you know preferable if you cannot do 15 minutes if it's just too long for you eight minute quarters is fine just make sure to simulate pats kickoffs and help to help speed up time the lowest quarter that you should go honestly is six minute quarters and that is like stretching it um if you go against anything lower than that you're risking losing no doubt uh number three eventually your team will get good enough to to the point where you can trust them a lot more and you can give them many more options on how you want to move forward the goal is to always be making to the playoffs so you can simulate you can fast sim until you get to the playoffs because as you've seen in our falcons rebuild if you watch that we used to fast sim during the playoffs uh to the playoffs and then what we do is slow sim when we got into the playoffs okay and that is a way that you could do it because you can always you know get to the playoffs once your team is good enough you know that hey we're gonna go 15 and 2 we're gonna do something like that and then you know once we get into the playoffs we want to win the super bowl so we're going to guarantee ourselves a victory by slow simming okay and that is definitely something you can do if you find yourself losing throughout the season when you're fast simming okay if you can't slow sim the entire season it's just too boring whatever it is then you can fast sim and if you start losing okay you may need to jump into a game and say i need to correct this i need to get my my guy some confidence you slow sim one game get all that confidence back you know you score 70 points to 100 points or whatever the hell it is you get all these stats your guys are going to feel amazing their heads are going to be in you know the clouds and then after that you'll start fast sim and you're going to see that your team's going to end up doing better there's there's ways that you need to read and react and start to crush it out of the uh, you know out of the park the other thing too is make sure that your player personnel your coach upgrades and all that your offensive coordinator and your defense coordinator are upgraded and we have videos on that as well that'll pop up in the top right corner of your screen now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching we love y'all and have a damn good day Perfect.